the knife I use to remove the part of our body, which is the eyes, tongue, lungs, intestine, and some part of our ass. So I put inside the calabar. Hello, lovely people. You're welcome once again to Professional King's Beach TV. It's your girl, Eriko Fosima, always with you in the building. Eriko Fosima, me, I mean, me, a high official Kings Beach TV. Yeah, my money now, Kwaba, and then the day, Kanya, one day, a dean's hour, so I see a more Kwaba strong. I brought you in India, say so. Now, me, per se, me, you say, and then, and then I say, a day now, bam, be bruno so. What is wrong with the youth of today? What 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 is the the motive behind some of the actions they do? What are then a young mood drink? A then a boom mood drink? A boom we are near me. And only and there are some of the person I can want some. I want us to talk about what they really think about because the youth of today they are getting to a point I don't know. I want to ask what will make a young man of about twenty years. Want to kill a woman of about 19 years or a young lady of about 19 years? What is it? What is it about money? What's, what, what, what is it about money that makes them so engrossed that even when you are killing a fellow human being, they don't have that kind of sympathy or mercy for you? What is it about? A day, a day now. A mebrumo who was sick on one, ain't ya must or yenin ya a dear be cry. I saw on two when he dip a dear one too, and then I buy it so. And that generation, and that generation, they youth. And then I buy a so. I see a you be a dear, a dear name, yeah, 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 a dear name, yeah, yeah, a dear name movie, yeah. No, we don't have any form of sympathy. We don't feel any pain, any nothing. What will make a young man go to the extent of using a knife? to remove people's eyes, to, to take out your heart, to stab you, to, you know, take up your private parts, your lungs. What, 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 I, 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 is it is, is is it the love for fame or the love for work? What will make someone do that? I am a trauma, 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 I even to cut yourself with a blade or a knife, how does it feel to do, to go to the extent of doing it to someone else? The Bible says, "Love your neighbor as yourself." And if you can't, if you, if you can't love your neighbor as yourself, then what kind of a human being are you? Who are you, Baba? And to who you are, this ah, anya ya na she anya me ya wo in the story ya be ya in one set. A brand see a bia we go see your buy we be or see me pesca me pesca no. Or friend of Fubina and Crofona children, so me pen a tacrema, me pen a knee, me pen a sumo, me pen a yama dear. You know, he wanted to get money, he wanted to make wealth, so he, he contacted some guys and they told him they wanted the uh, some parts of the body of a human being the tongue, the eyes, the lungs, the intestines. And this boy trapped a lady. And when she was unconscious, he strangled her and took out this part. You know, using the knife. Woman, the panayem, that would you use any other way? Now she in charge of the woman. Yeah, me ya fe. O kuni vie na wa frau ba ne busu ya fose. Man fe si kamba me fa mo de shi ane mamu. Is it? Eh day, eh eh day, day ne be mo wa yesa. Huh? After killing her, to you call her parents to ask for money. What is wrong with you? People, here is official Kings Beach TV. It's your girl, Lebeko for seeing my. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you have not liked, like, share, and comment. I wouldn't want to do this talk alone. I would want you to also watch the video so we can learn ourselves. So please go nowhere. Let's enjoy the video together. Hello, guys. You are watching official Kings Beach TV. Ope Lifestyle. Ope Talks on History. Ope Talks on, I mean, Heritage, Culture. The right place to watch a official Kingsbridge TV to YouTube.
you and subscribe to our channel. I'm about to come on. She said, let's talk segments. And look at the comment. You will know everything pertaining our area and planet train and everything you want to know about marriage and relationship. Kings Beach TV. Moments. Deliver. The full story of how this boy killed this 19-year-old federal investor of local biology student is finally out. This guy did not work, you know. They've arrested three other persons with him, so there were four that planned this thing together. Now, this is the full story of how everything happened. This boy is from Kaduna State. He's not from Lukuja. His name is Jeremiah Paul and he is 20 year old. So according to Paul, he said he met a native doctor on TikTok that him and this native doctor made plans of doing morning rituals. And according to him, he said the native doctor told him to kill his girlfriend and avert his girlfriend's eye, tongue, and lungs that that's what they'll be using to do the ritual. So according to him, he said he met Damilola, which is the girl in question, on the fourth of September, 2024, that he lured her into the bush and they started chiking her. The girl now accepted that after she accepted, he now lured the girl into an apartment where he bought her Sprite. Inside the Sprite, he mixed codeine without this girl's knowledge. Then she now drank the codeine. After she drank the codeine, and she became unconscious somehow. He now took her to an uncompleted building where she was killed. They stuck clothes in her mouth so that she would not be able to shout. According to him, he said he killed the girl by strangling her. He now removed her eyes, lungs, liver, tongue breast and some parts, some fleshy parts of our ganch. Now, the plan between him and the, and the native doctor was that, that we put all these body parts in the calabash and send it to the native doctor. So then the native doctor in turn will send them a soap. But when they start using, using the soap, that is how they will start making money. Now, this guy is the mastermind of all these things. But they were, he was working with other persons. According to the gist, he was not the one that was supposed to approach the girl. There was one other guy that was supposed to approach the girl. That one approached the girl, but according to them, that he was not able to do what the native doctor asked them to do. So this one, as the superman, now decided to go and do it. So according to Paul, he said that, Everything, all the transactions that they carried out with this native doctor was done online. Now, that was how Damilola was killed. So, before he killed the girl, he said he, he had already called this girl's family, asking for ransom of 400,000 naira. After they've sent him the money, he released the money, that was when he now killed the girl and did all this happiest thing. So, it was also confirmed that this boy and the friend that was supposed to do this crime immediately, both of them traveled all the way from Kaduna down to Lokoja to go and commit this crime. So this is how the boy was caught. They said that while they were in school at her department, some students noticed that the girl was not around and they started looking for her. They called her, her number was not reachable, so they got the police involved. The police also tried reaching this girl, calling her, her number was also not reachable. Then somehow they traced the phone and they were able to catch up with this guy. That was how he was apprehended. And when they were asking him initially, when the story came out new, that's how this boy was lying, that he walked alone. It was only him, blah, blah, blah. Only God knew what touched his mind for him to not start confessing that he did not walk alone. Apparently there were four of them, including the native doctor. Four of them that joined hands in killing this girl. Now, the name of the other three suspects are Emmanuel Otitoju, Banabas Ulubenga and Ajayi Basit Ayomide. If you hear all this name, run. You will scope get the city gate, coins am take the gate. God help us. Help us. <laughs> now like this, you'll be walking on the road. Somebody ask you out. You cannot even stop. You don't know their intentions. You, you will not want to wait. Because, see, let's just be extra careful and be very, very prayerful. I met her on Sunday. So I approached her, I talked to her, I collected her phone number. So we started chatting. So I told her whenever she's free, she should let me know. I already had it on mind that I'm going to use that mineral. So I bought codeine and Sprite and mixed it up. So I gave it to her because I've, I, I first drank it so that it let it not look like I mixed something inside. So I gave it to her and she drank. When I get close to my house, where I live, there was an uncompleted building. So we kneeled on the wall. We were just talking. So gradually, gradually, she's feeling weak. Gradually, gradually. So I took her to the uncompleted building. So I strangled her to death. 
I tied her hand. The clothes she wore, I used to tie her leg. I used cord, and the rope we used to. There's a rope they used to use to dry clothes. I used to cover her neck. I tied her neck, and there's another rope I used to tie her hand. So and I drag her to a bush close to where we live. So there I remove what my native doctor told me she removed. So he we build, he sent a driver to bring uh, he brought a calabash uh, and a knife. So in the calabash he used a black and white cutting to wrap the calabash and use a red cutting to wrap the knife. So the knife I used to remove the part of her body which is the eyes, tongue, lungs, intestine and some part of her ass. So I put it inside the calabash and I wrap it. So and I gave it to the driver which he sent from Ibadan here to Lokoja. So he will build it back to Ibadan. So after that he now will build my soup here. The police says the four suspect to be arraigned in court as soon as the investigation is concluded. Thank you so much for being with us up to this point. Um, I hope you all watched the video. You heard what the young man said, and we are going to advise ourselves with it. Now, I want to advise the youth of today, be it girl. Okay, let me, let me start with the ladies. If you want to go out or if you're going somewhere, I think the best thing to do is to move in a clique or inform someone about your whereabouts. Hey, sweetheart, I'm going to this point. Oh, baby girl, I'm going to this point. Yes, make your know your whereabouts known to people. When you are moving, make your know your whereabouts known. Now, when you get to the place and you find out that some things are fishy, try and phone someone, an emergency contact. Try and get in touch with someone. And if you're going and your conscience is telling you, hey, this place is not good, my friend, move. Leave that place as fast, wherever your legs can take you. Move out of that place as fast as possible. And to the young men, please, money is not everything. Money is important, yes, but it doesn't solve everything. So please don't rush. Life is short. Don't rush. And then my one, Miss Remo, Mupia, Miss Remo, Miss Remo, Mupia, Money and Crawford and Co, and a moment Crawford who be a more. Now, Mumma sign your way and to toss her now, Quemoa. Never be saying he be saying, don't cry a Bessuano. Now, you to me a money a mana and crown for jeans. Yeah, that's someone in a mushroom you be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. Hot shock, Kings Beach, moment to liberate.